Good afternoon. I'm going to call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Public Health, Environment, Civil Rights and Engagement Committee on January 28th, 2019. My name is Philippe Cunningham and I am the chair for this committee. I am joined at the dais by council members Cano, Schrader, Gordon, and Johnson. We have a quorum of the committee, so we are able to commit uh, to conduct the committee's business. Today we have seven items on the consent agenda and one small change that I will make sure we um, cover at the end. So first on the consent agenda, first we have setting a public hearing for February 4th, 2019 to consider an ordinance amending Title III, Chapter 47 of the Minneapolis Code of Ordinances related to air pollution and environmental protection, energy and air pollution, adding provisions related to residential energy disclosure. And the second is setting a public hearing for February 4th, 2019 to, to consider an ordinance amending Title 12, Chapter 4, excuse me, 248 of the Minneapolis Code of Ordinances relating to housing, truth and sale, adding provisions relating to residential energy disclosure. The second consent agenda item is accepting a grant, a grant from Youth Prize for youth sponsorships at the Bridges to Manhood Conference. The third are public health advisory committee appointments. I want to go ahead and go through. We have the um, council reappointments of Lori Campagnola, Jahana Berry, Kazwar Mohammed, Paul Pentel, Kathy Turinsky, and number two, we're gonna be sending back to staff. For three, we have Angela Watts. And four, we have uh, Terry Ann Jones. Number, for the fourth consent agenda item, we have Northern Metals Advisory Committee appointment of Michelle Ricart, and also waiving the residen residency requirement for that person. The fifth is a grant application for targeted opioid treatment prevention and recovery grant. Six is a gift acceptance from City Match for travel to conference. And number seven is a memorandum of understanding with Excel Energy regarding future purchases for the Renewable Connect program. So with that, are there any items that my colleagues would like to pull for discussion? All right, um, I actually, would like to pull off an item just quickly for the record. Um, could I please have a staff member come to um, discuss the Northern Metals Advisory Committee appointment? I just wanted to get some clarification um, as to, just for the record, as to why um, we are appointing someone and asking for a residency requirement rather than having a North Sider in this, in this seat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Chair Cunningham um, and staff and other council members. <laughs> um, it's because uh, Dr. Bratman, who fulfilled that seat before, has resigned, and so we're choosing to fill it with a Minneapolis public school nurse who actually works in the area. Great, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for that clarification. All right, any other discussion? Great. So I will move approval on all items with the exception of item 3.2, which I move to be referred back to staff for consideration for additional candidates. The appointee listed no longer wishes to be considered. All right, so on that, all those approved, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The ayes have it. And that motion carries. Having completed the agenda for today, our meeting is adjourned. Ninja style.